Just go. Stoinka. 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 Hey, coming in. Woo! Oh, we got color. I got a double hooker. You have not. Double big one. <laughs> Stop it. Woo! So on our way to Stanage Bay, this dirt road here, I believe, is about 80, 100 k's of dirt. Over the years, each time I go north, I keep driving past the Stanage Bay turn off. I'm going to go in there one day. Today's the day. High expectations. I've heard a lot of good reports. I'm looking forward to this part of the trip. Mate, this road isn't as rough as I've been told it's uh, meant to be. No, it ain't more. It used to be, mate. It used to be a shocker. Ah, there you go. That's where the story's going. But it also produces some of the biggest monster truck crabs you've ever seen. So hopefully we can get into to show you a few of those. Now they say it's the land of the big crab, mate. So rather than go out into the ocean and try and find our big crab, why don't we go and see the guys that catch the big crab? We catch all the crabs. <laughs> How you going there, lads, eh? How you going, mate? Yeah, Chris, mate. How's it going? Chris, Chris, Simon. Simon. Mate, we've come to the land of the big crab and Simon says he doesn't even have any crab pots, so I don't even know how we're going to get your crabs. So we thought we'd come to the guy that catches crabs yeah, come to the in the right land spot. of the big crab. What do you reckon? Yeah, you come to the right spot. I've got plenty of them here. You want to show us? Come and have a look, mate. All come right, let's do it. Lead yeah, yeah. on. Oh, have a go at it. So yeah. Oh, there's some crabs in there. So what we've got here is I've got two main holding tanks. They look pretty big. So yeah, these, these are just a fairly average crab. crab. That's a great crab. Fairly average crab. You'd be happy with that. That's an even bigger bait, one. So, yeah. Can I grab one? <laughs> yeah, go for it. All tied up. I'll grab the one that's not tied up. No, yeah, my yeah, luck. Yeah, be careful. Look at that. That's yeah. great, awesome. Look at them all crawling right. around in there everywhere. Right now, we'll come over this way, bloke. These are only the little toys. I'll show you the big ones. <laughs> you got <a> big <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I'm keen to yeah, see the land so. of the monster crabs. Oh, yeah, yeah they're bigger crabs. No, these, these are some of the bigger crabs. Holy mate. crab, yeah, these, holy. Yeah, these are some of our average oh. crabs that we get around here, though, so yeah. You got hold of me. Look at the size of that. They do grow well around here, don't they? Look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at them, mate. So, good quality crabs, though, so yeah. Doink them. That's yeah. Look at the size of that thing. Grab one of those little ones and put them together and you'll see the difference. Go get a little one. Grab a little one. Goody. Is this, what's your biggest one in here? Yeah, uh, about 2.8 at the moment. So That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> he's oh, right. no, he's escaped. There he is, he's I've escaped. Got him. He's gone. No, I've got him, I've got, got him. him, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Not so yeah. quick, buddy. Well, this is definitely yeah. the land of the big mud crab. I think we should have brought definitely. some pops. <laughs> We never take What, he's going to have a feed or what? I only need one crab. Yeah. <laughs> we launch at the local boat ramp, ready for a few days out at sea. Coming in hot! Looks like we've got a bit better weather today, mate. It is looking pretty nice out there. Right, well, good. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go and check out that island, mate. It has a significant history associated with it. Very significant. Now this is Pier Head on Quail Island, named by old Captain Cook some 250 years ago. This area had a huge magnetic variation to his compasses. Cook said up to 30 degrees off. So he did this exact walk at sunrise to the highest point on the island with his azimuth compass. This was to record and measure the variation to chart and get a safe passage through. If you look around, this is it, isn't it? Looking for something. There's a pile of rocks there. There's a plaque or something there, that'll be it. Maybe. A pile of rocks. A pile of rocks. Yeah, it's in there, mate. It's all tucked in here, overgrown. Somehow I don't think this is a regular tourist spot. I don't think so. Oh, there she is. Both Captain James Cook, 1770, and Matthew Flinders, 1802, stood on this spot your head. So you know it's been 250 years since old Captain Cook stood at this very spot. Can you imagine it? Wow. 250 years ago. Yeah. How cool is that? So old Flinders come, for, come through here obviously because Cook would have left, Cook would have positioned like marked this on his charts yep. and then Flinders was coming through to chart the entire coastline yep. as best he could so he stood up here as well. Pretty cool huh? So way down, way, way on the other side of that far island over there is a place called Thirsty Sound. Now, it was named by Captain Cook when he rolled past here in 1770. Now, the reason why he named it is because they came here. He came here to Pier Head and they actually walked up on top of this headland and surveyed the area. 
And what they were looking for was fresh water. Now, at 1770, which they named the township 1770, is where they were able to get fresh water. This was another stop along their journey north. And it was down into Thirsty Sound they went. And the reason why they call it Thirsty Sound because there was no water to be found. As well as the water problems, Cook had a few more compass problems up this coast. He named Magnetic Island near present day Townsville for this very reason. Now we've just come up on this island here now. The reason we're coming to this particular island is because I was doing a little bit of mucking around on Google Earth and I noticed that there was a big pile of fresh water in the centre of this hollow. So you can see there's a high point there and a high point there. Now, the other part of this island is there is an abandoned resort and there's actually little bungalows situated along that piece of fresh water. We're going to stick an inflatable boat on that fresh water and we're going to see if there's any fish in it. Sounds like a good plan, buddy. Sounds like a bloody good adventure, I reckon. And we need to get to the closest point on the beach to where the fresh water is. So it's when we lug that thing up the beach, sure this point. Got a great little spot, buddy. Coconut. Coconut. Oh. Low to the ground, too. Yeah. Let's go. That looks like an old car up there. Hope there's not some, someone's going to run out of the bush with a shotgun in a minute. <laughs> what a setup. What's going on here? That looks like a track. That's got to be the track. Well, that's what we're looking for, a track that sort of heads inland. Oh, look at the water. Look at that. that it looks pretty deep too. We'll get and that then look, there's a section here. Yeah, we we'll get that little boat in here, no worries. Looks like the old bits of the old resort, mate. I wonder when they built this. I wouldn't mind those old buildings off my joint. <laughs> Resurrected. Looks like it never got finished, mate. Look, the wiring never got finished. The gyp oh, rock, yeah. The gyp rock's been plastered but not painted. Yes. Wow. Look the tree roots that all grew through the joint. Yeah. yeah it does look like it never got finished. No, the wire was pulled and that was as far as it got. This place feels like a dream that was never realised. Very strange. Oh, greater. Digger. Oh, the poor old digger. Oh, look Seen at better poor, days this gear. Look at the poor old girl. Done some work by the look of the walking gear. I do love my diggers. What a shame, if that was going to be an awesome old bloody thing. It looks like they never built the machinery shed or the big the workshop or something. Because right. it just seems to be the like a series of bungalows. They're all the same, mm. exactly the same. I don't know what's going on. Someone's this... even made themselves a bit of a humpy over there. And the way this, see how they've, they've... Boom like that. Yeah. So when it was the last time it was used, they put the boom like that to keep as many of the rams like in, oh, yeah. in. so they don't rust the actual shaft of the ram. Yeah, I got you. So when it was parked there, it was in perfect working order and they parked it to protect the rams. But back to the task at hand, we're going to try and fish this freshwater system. Got it? You know it's never going to go back in the bag. It's red. We quickly put the inflatable together. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Woo! Well, let's take our little red ducky and go for a wander. Ah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's gold, mate. We'll be there in no time. No time. Are you sure? I need to breathe. I need oh, to breathe. Oh, now we're getting the soft sand. <sighs> I don't want knocked up just from putting it together. <laughs> hey, you know what we should do? Yeah, we should do. What? You do, don't you? <laughs> you know, almost jalopy at the other end of the beach. You think he'd mind? What do you reckon? What if we leave him 20 bucks? Got him 20 bucks, mate. Like, just 20 bucks. Leave hump. Like, we're going to look after it. There's even a key in the ignition, is there? Yeah. Fire it up. I'm going to see if she goes. <laughs> Touch works. I don't oh, know. No, no, we've got nothing. No one's on. No one's on. No Maybe the batteries disconnect a squeeze. Hold the bonnet. Got some dodgy lead. Oh, yeah, on. I see. Oh, they could have put some fuel in it. <laughs> She's a goer. She's a goer. 
Absolute goer. Yep. We'd really like to thank the owner of this Hilux. Whoever you are, you saved our backs. Right, let's get her off. Alright, let's go and see what we can find. How cool is this? This is dope. Mate, you have to agree, it's pretty specky little lagoon. It's stunning. Bits of pieces we fish, but there's nothing here. But it was worth a try. Oh, that's the end of it, mate. I don't think there's any fish in here. I think you are dead right on that. You're bang on. <laughs> that was fun anyway. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty, it's not funny. You know, if this was in the NT... I'd be alive. I'd be alive with Barra. But anyway, that's all right. It's all good, mate. I'll tell you what, it had to be done. Like, wow. Like, wow, I did not expect this at all. This keeps going. Well, mate, we came, we saw, we put a boat in a billabong. It was bloody good fun. Didn't catch any fish, but it was good fun. Uh, it was great. We might have to go fishing in the ocean. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> we head to Middle Percy Island, a famous cruising yacht stopover. We arrive right on sundown. So we set up camp and we'll have a fish and a look around tomorrow. Hey, g'day guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to show you the new 270 standard from Camp Boss 4x4. Check this thing out, mate. It's an awesome bit of kit. If you want to get out from under the sun, okay, out in the Australian Outback, then you need one of these things. It's got full A-frame arms, easy to set up. It's got 280 GSM ripstop poly cotton. The bag itself is a heavy duty, 1,000 GSM with a heavy duty zip. And it's got this awesome little ratchet to tension it up. Mate, it's the best awning that you're gonna see on the market. Full A-frame arms, self-supporting. Anyway guys, back to the video. Up early, it's time to go fishing. Sitting here waiting to catch a fish. Sitting and sitting, waiting and waiting. And he didn't have to wait oh, long. Oh, look at the splash, it's sharks up. Oh, it's a big mackerel too. See his head? Yeah. yeah it's a stonker. It's coming in too easy. Barracuda from hell. I'll tell you a new one, that will. You're gonna catch Stop a cooter and Miles will be on steroids. Oh! oh. oh. He's an aerial cooter. Oh, nice shot, mate. Nice yeah. shot. Had to get the shot. Can't, wait, wait, wait. Can't oh. flick up a nail. Oh. There we go. Now that's a cooter. Look at the size of that. We do not want to get tagged by that. Lure is clear. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh! Mate, I think that's the biggest cooter we've had on the boat, isn't it? That thing is a monster. That's a monster cooter, man. Woo! Imagine if that was a mackerel. Oh, I'd be pumped. I'm yeah. already pumped. That's a good fish. That is a beast. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Here we... Oh, Ooh. we haven't Ooh. been bitten yet. But... Ready? Yeah, go. Go! Good job, mate. Prehistoric out here, mate. Let's make the rest <laughs> of the fish <laughs> like that, too. Hell yeah. Not much happening here, mate. You go and catch some bottom fish, eh? Yeah, sounds good, bud. Sounds good. Oh, oh. he's a smoked hardcore. Getting him up. Getting him up. Long way down. I got a big lead on too, which isn't helping. It is. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's a big scarlet. Freaking scarlet. Woo! Boom shakala! Boom shakala! That's all we wanted. That's it. What a beautiful fish. That's what we come for. We are going to eat First that drop. fish. Tonight. Oh, yeah, we are. Let's go. Now he's on. Oh, yes. Oh, Come on, baby, up you come. Oh, yeah. Got colour. It's a big fish. It's a donker. Oh, oh look at look you. Look at you. Go. We don't want to miss it. 
Woo! There you go, mate. That's what we're looking for. Those things, Nanagai, large mouth. Are they identical? No, yours is slightly bigger. Well, so yours might be thicker. Nanny guys. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, Ooh. oh! it's nuts! <laughs> oh, oh, you're good! <laughs> Don't they give it to you at the bottom? They give it to you hardcore! Oh. Oh. They give, you that, oh. they give you that hard workout on the bottom Don't and they start coming. <laughs> oh, it's Pump like, and wine. I'm not coming. Pump and wine. Oh, these are horse fish. This, this is reef fishing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's another one. Oh. It's Look a stoinker. 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 Hey, coming in. Woo! Oh, we got colour. I got a double hooker. You have not. Double big ones. <laughs> oh, stop it. I thought that's what it felt like. I'm sitting there and I've got boom and I'm on, I'm on, and then I thought I'd lost it. And sure enough, you feel this other hit? Two fish. Look, Look at that. that. <laughs> yeah, that's reef fishing, isn't it? <laughs> at its finest, mate, at its finest. Oh, I've gone down and caught a guppy. I don't want to catch a guppy all the way down there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let it back down see if something bigger grabs it. That's the first time fish has taken line. All right, we got some colour. Up you what the hell have I got? Look at that, baby! Woo Look at that! Woo! That's a serious fish, that one. What do you got, mackerel? Ooh, mackerel. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give the pinky a go. Now, I've had a lot of success with these up north. Um, when I was on holidays last, they love these things. They're like lollies. So I'll chuck this sucker down and see how we go. Got him? Yeah. You're on. Another nanny, I reckon. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm on. You're oh. on. Oh, I think I just got smoked. Oh, you got bust off. He just, uh, as it hit, just, just before it hit the bottom. There's mackerel down there too. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah. Mac attack. What a cracking afternoon. Not good weather, but good fishing. The weather is <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush. Oh. Way to wear it out. Feeling heavier than usual? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, it's a nanny from hell! That. Oh my god! Look at that! Now that's a nanny guy! Ready? Yeah. Look at that! Holy shyster! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that fish! I bet you didn't even know they got that big! <laughs> that is a stonker, man. He went to flesh. Now that fish is worth the fun. Look how old this fish is. Look at his tail. He's been through the ringer. See the tail? Yeah, I see that. Look at the size of that That's fish. That's a stoinker. What does it weigh, you reckon? I don't know. That's <laughs> got to go like 10. At least. I've never seen one that big. Me either. It's a dinosaur of all freaking nanny guy. OK, then. And I thought I had the biggest one at the moment. <laughs> then you had to go and top it. Beat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a photo opportunity to this fish. Hell yeah. That's a once in a lifetime nanny guy. Cracker. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah. Got him on the plastic. Got him. got him on the plastic. Oh! Got him on the plastic. You got him too. You too. Come on, be a red. We're spoiled now. We don't want yep. nannies. Yep. Oh, hang on. Not. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. <laughs> You got him good scarlet too. Good scarlet on plastic. Good job. Woo! I think that's what I might have, what do you reckon? Possibly. Quite possibly. Woo! <laughs> Look what I got. What do you got, buddy? And not even big. <laughs> Little grassy, this one. More fun than someone should have in one day. 
of a nice fish and just tried it on a plastic just for something different. Plastic works. Did he swim? Yeah, he's out of here. Sweet. So this will be our last drop before we head in. We're getting tired of catching bloody good fish. <laughs> tired of catching big fish. Yeah. There it is. You got him. Oh, yes, it's a red emperor. There you go. He's got the it's, red. Oh, is it size? Woo! Ooh, I don't know if it's size, but it's a red. It's a good it's red. It's a red. That's a good red. It's a good red. I don't think it's quite size, though. I haven't caught a good red for years. Yeah. We head back to our camp at Middle Percy Island and we spotted something on the charts. There is some sort of little lagoon thing in here, see it? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go and check her out, what do you reckon? Tides. Who's the tide at? Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of tide. Uh, it's dropping down. Look at that. There's a the boat in here, look. We motor into the lagoon, an amazing little anchorage. We set up the swags just in time for another top sunset. We'll take a look around Middle Percy Island, a famous stopover for cruising yachts for many years, a great part of the reef's maritime history. Wow, look at this place, mate. It's out of control. So out of control. Percy oh, Island. I've heard about it. Yeah, I've heard about it for years. Yeah, you heard about it? Yeah. For years yeah. and wow. years. There's so much stuff going on here. Hello, mate. Yeah, hello there. That's the end of the fish. Oh, I found my spot, mate. What do you found? Yeah, it's all over now. It's like they put the names of their boats in here. And then who, like the crew and stuff, and a date. Seems to be the common theme. Well, you don't know where to start. There's just too much. It's just, it's like every boat that's been here has put something in here. Fish tail. Wow, so much to read. The first European visitor was Flinders in 1802. He named the group the Percy Isles. And in 1874, a Royal Navy schooner, Pearl, dropped off 12 goats for shipwrecked sailors. Those goats are still here today and have just been heritage listed. We didn't see any, probably because we heard they go well in goat stew. So obviously they make themselves pretty scarce. 1979? 96. There's a seriously old phone 85, over here. 89. Hello. Hey, mate. What? It's for you. Huh? It's for you. What do you mean? Hello, Jason speaking. Ah, it's not, you idiot. Apparently, some guy lived here for like 30 years. Lived here for a long time. Yeah. Apparently, some guy just looked after the joint. 99. Is he now? Maybe I might stay here. You're going to be the next guy. I think so. I think we've got an upstairs up here, too. Like a whole lot going on Holy up here. Oh, hell. Look at that. Whoa. Look at the memorabilia up here. It's like a loft. There's no <laughs> end to it. A lot of memories here, mate. I can't believe the stuff here, eh? Right? <laughs> I've got a little bit gobsmacked. Ah, <laughs> oh, but there's the view. Oh, there's the spot. <laughs> oh, that's Look at that for a view, buddy. I think it's the best beach on the island. We're carving here, so we'll put some time into that. Oh, too. I see that, yeah. Wow. It's a tree. I wonder if I might did that. He may have. Well, guys, that's the end of the episode. And I'll tell you what, we've had an absolute cracker of time in this area. This place is like a tropical paradise. When I retire, mate, this is where I'm coming. We've got fishing off tap just over there. Just over there. And just over there, there's an old resort if we want to change, you know, scenery. Oh, we'd go stay yeah, in the of old course, resort. of course. It's all got like coconut palms and white sandy beaches. Fish, coconut palms, deer, goats, sheep. We're done. We're done. It's out of control. So much to see and do, but we can't hang around for you here forever. We've got to head off into the sunset. So we'll see you guys. Never. Off no beaten tracks. Introducing the home of Australian adventure. Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, fishing, touring, rig builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure. Get me out of here.
boys, water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jace and the team. In this mini-series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snap is, mate, this is all going on down here, You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV is the home of Australian adventure.